It was another day of records. Three quarters of a million Britons lined up to get a booster as more than 88,000 tested positive for COVID. And there are fears that further records will follow in coming weeks as hospital beds fill with patients. We've been told to try and plan for at least as bad as last winter, which was uh, quite a, a massive pressure uh, on our uh, resources. A nightmare scenario for a healthcare system already under strain. People waiting for treatment which isn't life-saving but is really important for their quality of life may have to wait a bit longer. What's clear from the statistics is that two variants are now circulating together. Omicron is already driving about a quarter of cases as Delta continues to spread. But it will take weeks before the severity of this wave is known. The earliest that we will have reliable data is the week between Christmas and New Year and probably early January. The nation is not yet in lockdown, but individuals and institutions are taking their own action. The Queen has cancelled her traditional pre-Christmas lunch for extended family. And some Premier League games have been postponed. Boris Johnson is banking on boosters to get the UK through this surge. What we're saying is we're not closing things down, we're not asking uh, people to, to cancel things. And what we're saying is that uh, people will understandably not want to catch COVID in, in the next few days or, or ever. A Prime Minister determined that Christmas won't be cancelled for the second year in a row. Steve Kinane, ABC News, London.